Hey teachers, we are back. We took a little break from filming YouTube videos for the summer and now that it's back to school, we are back with a new year and new YouTube videos just for you. And since it is back to school, I thought I would start by covering a math strategy that I know many of you are using in your classroom right now. And that is how to solve addition problems without using standard algorithm. When I was a kid, and even when I started my teaching career about 15 years ago, standard algorithm was really all that was taught for addition with bigger numbers. But there are so many other strategies that you can be using and I feel confident that if you stick with me through this video, I've got a strategy here that will help any of your kiddos who are struggling with adding bigger numbers. All right, so let's dive straight in with the first addition strategy. And this one is actually one of my favorites. If you look it up online, you might see it called several different names. I like to call this partial sums because it's very similar to the partial product strategy that is used for multiplication. So let's jump straight in. I've got an addition problem here on my paper. And for this strategy, we want to set the product, the problem up vertically and line up those numbers by place value. Now I'm gonna give you a little extra tip here. If you have students that are really struggling with addition, it helps to color coordinate your place values when using this strategy. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I've got several different color markers and I'm gonna write each digit in the first add-in a different color. Next, I'm going to use the same colors to represent the second add-in as well. And we can kind of speed this up as we go just to make it go a little faster. All right, now once again, you don't have to color coordinate this all the time for it to work. It's just a really helpful thing that you can do if you have those struggling learners. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add by place value. And once again, I like to color coordinate. So for the ones, we're adding eight and four, which is 12. Now for the tens, you have to remember, we're not just adding four and seven, these are in the tens place. So we're adding 40 and 70. Another helpful thing you can tell your students if they're struggling, since this is in the tens, we can write the zero and then just add seven and four. Okay, now we're gonna keep doing the same thing for each place value, but keep in mind that whatever they're adding, so for example, the three and the six are in the hundreds place, we need to pretend that everything behind it is a zero. So for example, 300 and 600. And once again, you can go ahead and have your students put the zeros there and then add the numbers. And we're just gonna keep doing this for each of these place values and each sum for each place value, you're just writing underneath of the previous sum. So we're gonna speed this up while I do thousands and ten thousands. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add all of our sums together. Now you'll see here is a, a regrouping uh, type problem or numbers here. So since this is 10, remember we'll write the zero for the ones place below and you'll still carry the one over. And there we have our total, which is going to be 33,022, and that is partial sums. Now, I do want to remind you that any time throughout this video, you can pause, you can rewind, so that way you can watch any of these strategies multiple times. All right, now before we move on to these next two addition strategies, I want to very quickly share a little bit about my addition and subtraction units that have all kinds of awesome worksheets, activities, games, centers, anchor charts, everything you can think of that you need to teach addition and subtraction. 
Now in this video, I'm showing three addition strategies. The unit teaches six addition strategies and five subtraction strategies. There are over 250 pages with detailed lesson plans, worksheets, games, centers, exit tickets, assessments, digital activities, and so much more. Three versions of this unit are available for each of the upper elementary grades. We have addition and subtraction within 9,999, addition and subtraction within 99,999, and addition and subtraction within 999,999. All versions are linked in the description of this video if you want to check them out. All right, let's move on to addition strategy number two, and this one utilizes expanded form. So what we wanna do for this addition strategy is we are going to write each of these numbers or add-ins in expanded form, and we are going to stack them on top of each other. Now, the one thing I'm gonna recommend while you do this is encourage your students not to write their numbers super big, because especially when we're working with bigger numbers, this is gonna take up a lot of space. So we'll speed this up while I write both of these numbers in expanded form. <laughs> Okay, so you can see that I have got each of these in expanded form. They're stacked right on top of each other. Now, if for example, one of the digits in an add-in was a zero, what I usually recommend is that you still write the zeros for that place. So for example, is if this number was 20,000, 255, I would write four zeros here, and I do that just to keep students from getting confused. It's a good placeholder for them. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add from right to left, just like we normally would, and you're just adding by each of the place values. So five plus one is six, 50 plus 80, we've got 130, 200 plus 500 is 700, 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000, and then 20,000 plus 50,000 is 70,000. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go from expanded form to standard form. Your students have probably learned a little bit about this when they were learning about place value. But the one thing that I want to tell you is if you have a problem that's going to involve uh, borrowing and regrouping, you're going to get some numbers that look like this. For example, 130. It's not all the tens place like we add it. So what I recommend you do in these cases is go ahead and add the two numbers that go to the hundreds place first. So go ahead and add 830 or 700 plus 130 is 830. And then rewrite your other numbers. And now you can see that this is going to be much easier to put together. Now, once again, if your students are struggling, we can go place value by place value with this instead of doing it all at once. So we could go 836 plus 2000 plus 70,000 and then do 2,836 plus 70,000. And then last but not least, 72,836. All right, so we are on to our third and final addition strategy, and this one is really great if you have students that need a visual aid. There's lots of visual aids that you can use for addition, for example, place value discs and place value blocks and all those kinds of things but the strategy I'm about to show you uses a free visual aid. So if you're in a classroom that does not have those place value resources, they can draw this one themselves without you having to spend any additional money, which is always a huge plus for teachers. So this is going to be adding on a number line, which is also called counting on to add. So what we're going to do for this strategy 
is you're going to start by drawing an open number line. And I always tell my kiddos, it does not have to be perfect. I'm not somebody that can draw straight lines and I don't expect them to do that either. So you're just gonna draw an open number line and at the beginning of your number line, you want to write the first add-in, which is going to be 30,275. Now for this, we are also going to look at this as an expanded form problem, really, if it's helpful for your students, you can have them write the second add-in in expanded form, so that way that will help them remember what they're adding each time. So I'll go ahead and do that here, just to simplify things a little bit. And the nice thing is when we're talking about expanded form and addition, you're incorporating a lot of those place value skills that you probably just taught in the previous unit and you're getting to review them here. So that's another great uh, thing to be doing right now as you're working through these addition problems. So what we're going to do now is we are going to use the number line to add each of the place values. So our first jump will be the biggest one because we're adding 10 thousands and there's 20 thousand that we're going to add here. So adding 20 thousand to this would give us 50,275. If it helps, students can cross off the one that they've added and then do the next one. So we're gonna add 7,000 next and our little bubbles should get a little bit smaller each time but once again I always tell kiddos it does not have to be perfect so this time we're adding 7,000 which is going to give us 57,275 and I'll cross that off next we're adding 300 so we're adding to the hundreds place which is going to give us 57,575 cross it out. Then we've got 20. And so that is going to give us 50,595. And then we're just adding one, which is going to give us the final number on our number line and the sum, which is 57,596. So that gives your students kind of a visual aid that they can use as they're solving addition problems, like I said, without you having to spend money to buy those place value tools. All right, so there you have it. Those are three of my favorite addition strategies that are not standard algorithm. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I find that students who are really struggling with standard algorithm, they start to pick up on at least one of these strategies that I've just showed you here. So I hope you find these to be helpful. If you've got an addition tip or strategy that is really working for you and your students, please leave a comment below and let us know. I love when we can collaborate and share ideas here on this channel. And like I said, if you're interested in those addition and subtraction units, they are linked down in the description of this video. And last but not least, if you would just take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. We create all of the content here on the channel for free. And when you take the time to do those things, it ensures that we're able to keep creating all of this free content for you. So until next time, happy teaching.